This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate. And today we are looking at the Gator Website Builder, adding text. So I know you really want to get started, so let's get started. You have to make sure that you are logged in. Edit site. Today we are adding text as an elements. Scroll down, click text. Heading one. This is heading one right here. You can change the text. There's different uh, styles in here that you can choose. You can change the font. If you want to use another font, just click more fonts. You can choose the fonts, the fonts from here. Make sure that you are highlighted your text. Choose your font. And then you will see your text change. You can change the size. You have to make sure that you have highlighted your text because it will not change unless you highlight it. So we highlight the text. Go. You can change the position. Now the position is the position that your text is inside your box. Here is a paragraph text box to show you. When you change position, you highlight your text and you go into text alignment. You can make it so that it is to the left, to the middle, to the right or straight up and down. You can bold your text. Now you have to make sure that you have highlighted it. You can bold your text.
you can underline your text right with the underline there when you want to underline your text you click on underline when you want to take the underline off you unclick it you will also notice that if you highlight anything that it will show what its uh, specific settings are you can strike through and strike through is used when you want to write something else for instance if you are you have a sale of three dollars and fifty cents but the last price was four dollars and fifty cents so you can use the strike through for that and until you take the strike through off everything will be typed out in the strike through you could use a link and here you can use a website a URL for a website or you could use oops phone and you can use a document and you can also have it open in a new tab so I'm just going to click on the URL and use my YouTube Now your text color text color and you have to make sure that you have highlighted it so once it is highlighted you could see the color there and then you would just choose You don't want one of these colors here you could choose more colors and then you can slide the selector up and down and decide on what color you would like say I chose If I was choosing this one, I could save this here where it says HEX. I can save that and I'm going to show you why. Copy. I'm just going to click current. Because this is the font that I would like to use right there. And say I wanted to use it on this one. I would just click in there. And when I highlight it it will show me all of the information and then I would click more colors and then this area in here I would just paste what I had copied and then it will then become the color that I want so it's a way for you to keep a record of the colors that you use. Now this is a highlight. If you want to highlight, you would then use your selector, highlight it, and then choose a color that you want the highlighted box to be. Say I chose red. And again, you can also save your highlighter information as well, right there. So this is my color 
and this is what I used. When you want to take it out, it would do the same thing. You would click in there and then you would just click this and this will take it out. This puts it in, whoop, sorry. This puts it in. And this will take it out. Remember this arrow right up here is undo. Undo. So I am going to undo what I just did. Okay. If you want to redo it, you click on this one. And this will put back what I just did. You see? So undo and redo. Now this is for looking at what you're doing through another device. So if you click on mobile there, it shows you what it will look like on a cell phone. And here we're back to the desktop. Now next is one I think that you'd be uh, excited about. This is animation. Okay, if you click bounce, just gonna move this over. Okay, here is another thing to remember. If you want to move your text, you click in the box and you wait until you see the four arrows, the four-way arrow, and then you know that you can move your text, and you can move it anywhere you want on the page. Say I choose to move it there, okay? And with your text, you can also have an animation. So you can have a bounce, You could have a bounce in, light speed, move and fade in, shake. Okay. Now, this here, I'm going to show you what that is. When you have your text or you have an image, this is the bring forward or the bring send backwards. I'm going to take this text here and just put it on top of this image. It's actually behind the image, so I want to bring it forward. And I'm just going to use the highlight on that. Okay, so here is your text. If you want to send it behind another piece of text or an image or another element, you click there and it will go behind. If you want to bring it forward, you bring it forward. If you want to duplicate, 
So now we have two exact same. Okay. So this is the foundation, the basis of all of your editing is this toolbar right here. If you want to delete, you use the trash. Okay. Okay, so this is the first tutorial. I hope this has been helpful and look forward for the next one coming out.